salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God the healing word of God is being sent to you right now for the word of God is living and active in you sharper than any two-edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart this healing word comes to you right now to deliver unto you the authority of God's power and His might. God has given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing at all will harm you. You have been given the authority right now to trample on disease and sickness and every infirmity and symptom of pain. The power of the enemy and his assignments of darkness have no hold on you. The curse has no hold on you. He himself bore your sins in his body on the tree so that you might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you are healed. The healing word and the healing work of Christ flow through your entire being right now. Healing fills your spirit. Healing floods your soul. Healing overflows throughout your physical body. God is bringing health and healing to you right now. He has said, I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. So we come into agreement with that healing word and secure complete and total abundant peace within the realms of divine presence. I tell you the truth. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. We speak to every mountain of sickness and disease and we command it to move right now. Move out of the body completely. We command every enemy assignment and demonic attack to be dislodged from the body. Go in Jesus' name right now. Body be free of sickness and disease. It will be done just as we have believed that it would be, for nothing is impossible with God. Neither this person or his parents sinned, said Jesus. 
But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in their life. A testimony is being created. A miracle testimony of God's goodness and His healing virtue. For you who revere God's name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in His wings for you. And you will leap like calves released from the stall. Lift your eyes and see your healing. See healing shining on you right now. Just like spirit rays of light penetrating you, healing is filling your vision. Healing is filling your body. Healing is all you can see. Abraham looked and he believed. Abraham gave God all the glory. If you lack wisdom, just ask God. He gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Your faith is voice activated. New faith is being imparted even right now as the sound of this healing word comes to you. Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. He sent his word and healed you and delivered you from your destructions. It's a new day. There's a new change. The curse is canceled and the blessing is secured. He forgives all your iniquities and He heals all of your diseases. For I am is the Lord who heals you. He will keep you in perfect peace as your mind is stayed on Him because you trust in Him. The Lord says your request has come at a favorable time. He was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement for your peace was upon him, and by his stripes you are healed. Therefore, take heart and believe God that it will be just as it has been told to you. You are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. But despite all of this, overwhelming victory is yours through Christ Jesus, who loved you enough to die for you. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise you up. You do not fear bad news nor live in dread of what may happen. For you are settled in your mind that Jehovah Rapha will take care of you. That is why you are not afraid. But you can calmly face your foes. Jesus said, Verily, truly, I tell you the truth. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I have been doing. And they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask anything in my name and I will do it. You are healed. Healing belongs to you. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Our faith declares the healing of God that flows in this place right now. Our faith declares the healing of God that flows in through your body. Every vein, every vessel, every muscle, every organ. Every part of your body being flooded with the power of life, light, and healing. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The miracle worker is with you right now. You are healed. If the same spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life your mortal, natural, earthly, and physical body through His Spirit who dwells inside of you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers you out of them all. For I will restore health unto you, and I will heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Behold, I will bring you health and cure, and I will cure you and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace 
and truth. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Your light shall break forth as the morning and your health shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. No weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the birthright of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Sickness has judged you falsely. It's your birthright to live in health. Right now we condemn every illness and disease with the word of God, with this healing word, and we command it to leave your body in Jesus' mighty name. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. The healing word is living in you and creating in you the miracle that you need right now. Believe it and receive it.